Good day everyone, I am Roxanne Clasho and for today we will talk about communication flow and process. But before we start, can you imagine a life without communication? Can we live for a day without texting, chat, and sending messages in our friends and family? I don't think we can do that because communication plays a very important role in our life because it helps to develop relationships and to share information to one person to another. Now let's back to communication. Communication is came from Latin word communicare, which means to share. The goal of communication is to transmit information and to understand the information from one person to another person. The communication process is divided into three components, the sender, the message, and the receiver. Communication clearly defines as sent and receiving messages. Now let's back to communication. So communication is a process of exchanging thoughts, ideas, feelings, and information between and among others whether verbal or nonverbal to achieve particular goal or purpose. The other important in communication is the feedback. When a person gives a message, then the receiver will respond to it by giving a reply. So it is important to a two people or group that their communication is clear so that they can understand and respond accurately to each other. Communication is a process. It is a cyclical. It is like cycle. It begins to one person to another, like the sender and the receiver. Also, communication occurs between two or more people. Communication could be expressed through verbal and nonverbal communication. This time, let me explain the communication process. So, communication starts or begins with a speaker or the sender. The sender initiates communication with a particular purpose by messaging like action, words, or other verbal, or where the speaker and the listener can understand each other. Message is simply the information, thoughts, conveyed by the speaker or the sender. After the message transported through channel, so channel is used as transmitting ideas. This include the face-to-face -face conversation, video, telephone conversation, written communication, and so on. So next is the listener, also known as the receiver. The receiver decodes the message. Decoding means interpreting the message given by the sender. When the receiver decodes the message, he or she can now make a response or also known as the feedback. So feedback are the reaction, responses that provided by the receiver. And of course, it can be sent through different channels. In my video, you can hear different noises coming from outside and that you call barriers. Barriers are the factors that affect the flow of communication. We all have a hard time just to have a good communication. Sometimes misunderstanding happens because of the noise, and this is also known as the barriers. To conclude the flow and process of communication, communication it is a process that begins with the ideas of the sender, then transmit the message through channel to the receiver. In turn, the receiver will give his or her feedback. So that's it. I hope I explained clearly the flow and process of communication. Thank you.